with you some of the Christmas plaids that I made. With, and I'll be using two of these, this one here and this one here. And at the end, I'll be using the gorgeous Frantic Stamper Merry Christmas. And that is just a fun one, and I really enjoy having this around. I'll be using the uh, just a plain embossing stamp pad, the Nouveau Black Embossing Powder. I really like the Nouveau brands. And a gold stencil uh, embossing. I want to show you, uh, I have... Uh, if this is uh, not sticking here, just take your baby wipes and get that glitter off. Uh, after several times of using this today, I've had to do this several times. But it's actually a not that difficult. You just take this and stamp it with your embossing pad. And I just eyeball it. And I just think I'll do it right there. Do it right there. And I'll be embossing this with the gold and the black. And it's going to look similar to this one right here. So you can get these as close as you want. Uh, some people use a stamp tool to do this. But... I just found it wasn't that difficult and I didn't have to be that precise. See if you notice, it's already stamped with the stamping embossing pad. And I'll just go across like this. And it doesn't take that long to do this. Uh, it's nice to also look online at the different other plaid papers to get an idea what um, type of plaid you would like to make. Uh, since I don't have my stuff here, I'll just put it right here. And I'll just use my black Nouveau embossing powder. And this is N-O-I-R. So you'll notice, I just do this. Notice how it's sticking, very pretty. If you have longer paper, this does cover this real well by just, you see how that works, isn't that pretty? And if I wanted to extend this, I just go ahead and stamp it and put it right there. I'll go ahead and uh, be using the hot glue gun and be back with you. Now my next step will be adding this gold. And um, uh, it's very simple about just embossing this, uh, stamping each one of those sides. And I'll just show you quickly how that's done. And I just eyeball it towards the middle. And you can just see I'm stamping as close to the center as I can. And the Frantic Stamper set has nine different stamps. Uh, plaid stamps for you to choose from. Also check out the one that they had a month ago or two months ago and it's different type of stamps to go with stamp number one as well. Christmas time, I like to use a lot of uh, gold or silver uh, tinsel type of embossing powder. And you just notice how I just open this up. And I'm going to be pouring this back into the jar with this. 
And just notice how pretty that is. Now, after I heat emboss, if I wanted to go also this way, I just join from corner to corner or square to square. This way, this way, this way, this way, this way to get something of this nature. Notice here I just used the gold and the green and the gold. And here's another one that I did uh, where it's the white pearl and the gold and then I stamped the corners with little snowflakes. Here's the green. A little harder to do metallic at times because the metallic wants to uh, uh, stick everything. But this is the green and the gold. And this is patterned paper with the red embossing, red tinsel embossing powder with the black nouveau. And this is a different type of red, uh, the frantic stamper stamp of the, in this set with this one, just having two. And again, you just notice how I just go from corner to corner, corner to corner, when I do the uh, extra side here. I think it'd be really cute to use different pictures sometime if you get a little larger. So I'll go ahead and take this give you a moment and go back and uh, use the heat gun and make sure when you're using the heat gun take the center and make it last a little longer here because it does take a little bit more time to emboss this center. Now you notice after I use the heat gun how this really shines and isn't this just beautiful Christmas paper and here again I'll show you some of the samples you can put little snowflakes or stamps of anything else in the corners. And there again, I did it starting this way, going across, and then turning it this way. Here's the red metallic paper with the green and the gold again. And this is just squares going across. And the, you could add a little snowflakes. This is going across this way and across this way. And this is adding three stamps. And just the plain black and gold. Thought it'd be really cute to have a little black terrier. Uh, happy Merry Christmas to a dog or something on this red and black and gold. Now with your plaid paper, you could put a personal photo and print something in the front along with your beautiful frantic stamper Merry Christmas and the plaid number two frantic stamper and there you go with your Christmas card Merry Christmas for a little early but hey it's good time to start doing some of these personal cards so I hope you enjoyed this video and please uh, visit frantic stampers and look at their plaid uh, stamps and their gorgeous dyes. Thank you.